Hi everybody, my name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to show the, the Sterling Ink subscription for August. I got it in the mail today and um, I don't think I actually saw any previews for it. Or maybe I did. Maybe I downloaded already the, um, the digital download. I can't remember, but if I did, it was a while ago. So I'm going to open this up. Um... All right. So we're going to start with the paper. All right, so in here we have a cardboard to keep it nice and straight. And these are the two vellum sheets. So this one has picture frames behind it. And then this is the floral vellum. Okay, so it has these shadowy ones behind, which is kind of a nice effect. And then it's got ones that are a bit more vibrant. So a little bit of orange, brown, and green this time with these white flowers. Here are the days of the week, which I've been using in my Hobonichi. These ones I've been saving because they're undated you can use them any year so which is kind of nice um i've just been saving them in case i want to use them uh, honestly i don't really know where i'll use them but maybe my next hobonichi you'll see <laughs> and then you have a um, b6 size um vellum for august okay and then the sticker pack so i do get the deluxe stickers I always like opening up this little one first um, and the deluxe gives you a few extra tidbits um, so here is a die cut which is kind of kind of cute actually I like this it's a girl sitting in front of a garden with a whole bunch of white flowers you have your tabs to find your page um, I have been using those my Hobonichi and my Hobonichi weeks for my son okay and then you've got these two small little tidbits here so this one says August um, this has, it's exactly the same. You get two of those. I've been saving those two. And then this really tiny decorative piece here um, with some flowers. This one does not have, whoops, does not have foil on it. And then this one, which is a sticker. And then this is just like a little um, thank you card, but it's really, it feels really good. It feels like silk almost. It feels kind of interesting. All right, now for the rest of the stickers, you have this one here, which also is just August, but it's in script. I really like that one. Um, and now you get into all the different size of sheets. So I've also been saving these. So these are just like the numbers. They're pretty much too small for me to use in any of my other planners, so I haven't really used those. Um, for the small sheets here, you have this one, which is a bunch of florals. Okay, this one has foil on it. This one's kind of like, they're kind of cool because you can put them on the edge of your page and they look really neat. Actually, I like the peachy tones in here too. Kind of goes with um, the peach promenade kit that's coming out from Coastal, or from us, uh, sorry, from Planners Anonymous. It's kind of nice, like peach tea, maybe. I don't know if that's actually peaches, is it? Maybe it's apricots. Ooh. Maybe. Makes more sense if it was peach. <laughs> um, and there's like a little cheese board. And then there's this one with the, the girl with the white dress. Another like tea stand. Another white dress. And then this one too is one of my favorites. It's got foil on it. You get four stickers, usually bigger ones. They're almost like a full size box with foil. I think I said that. That's really pretty. I like this scene here. Okay, and now for the large sticker. So these obviously are gorgeous. Um, these are the large floral with one huge sticker. It's like a back patio with an upper balcony. It's really pretty. A whole bunch more florals. And now these ones are the washi strip. I think there's a big strip here. What I like, what I like about them is that they kind of pop off just like, it's not just a flat line all the time. This one might be, the edges aren't, but this part is. Um, and then these are like longer stickers you can put on the side of your pages. Um, really decorative, really pretty. This one has foil, another, I think it's the exact same actually. Okay, 
And now this one is the picture frames. So I've really been liking these. They look really pretty in my Hobodichi. I've really been enjoying them. And I do like the other ones I've got were all like square frames and rectangles. This is round and oval. Like these are really pretty. I'm really enjoying those a lot. And then you get this one here, which is like the ripped paper effect. This is kind of cool too. I do get mine on translucent matte. So you can't see the border around it, which is why I like them. And then this one, I never really understood it. Sometimes I use the longer pieces, kind of like a washi strip, but the smaller ones, I don't really know what I'd use them for. So I usually just chuck it out. Um, but yeah, they're basically just like these strips and some of them are really tiny. So this one, for instance, I'm trying to pull it up, which is really hard for some reason. Okay, I'll pull up one of the tiny strips I don't really use. Um, <laughs> okay, we're having difficulties today. There we go. Okay, maybe. So something like that, and it's like really short. It just goes to the end of the page. So I don't really know what I would use that for. So if you guys like have this kit, let me know what you use them for. And then you get the stamps and the, the, the deluxe subscription box. I think these are so beautiful. I think my favorite pieces, like I love all the bigger stickers, of course, because if you use a bigger sticker, um, I use the bigger ones on days when I don't have a lot to write. Um, and then they just kind of make it look pretty. I put them in a corner. Sometimes I'll put it in the middle. And then I write in my Hobonichi around it. So I use it for my daily journaling. And it just makes the page. Like, they look so beautiful. Um, but I like the big ones, right? Like I like these decorative long pieces here. I like the paper ripped ones. I love this one. And the uh, stamps and the, um, the picture frames are just gorgeous. So anyway, that is it for this month. But I think this is absolutely beautiful. Let me know if you guys um, order Sterling Ink and what do you use it for? I use mine on my Hobonichi. I like the translucent matte paper. It's almost like a washi paper it is exactly what it is. If you use it on the Tomo River paper, it helps keep it like a little bit less bulky. And it's beautiful. Like, like kind of like the transparency. I don't know what it is. It's hard to describe. But once you start using it, like I'm new to um, a Hobonichi. I've just started using one in April. And I just love it. I really enjoy it. It's um, kind of become one of my passions. But I have put my journal... I have put my Hobonichi in a Franklin planner cover. So this is like the spiral planner notebook cover. And I got the vintage Aurora in purple plumeria, which I adore. Yeah, I just adore this. And since I haven't been using my fountain pen in my um, planner, I've been using it in here. It is a medium nib. This is a Twisby, by the way. It's a medium nib, but uh, it doesn't go through the other side of the paper. It's just amazing. Like, I love... I just love it. I'll show you guys a couple of the spreads I've done last for July. Um, this is where I use, like I print out the A5 size of paper and I put it in here. But yeah, except for this page, I think I've used mostly the July kit in here. But you can see like I put picture frames here and I use like those small little um, stickers to put like around the picture frames and sometimes on the bottom, like here's those really skinny strips at the bottom here. Um, that I have no idea what to do with and then sometimes I just like put them throughout my page just to kind of make it look cute I'll do the same thing with the stamps put some smaller stickers around it um, and then usually by the end of the month I'm running out and then I can't wait for my next kit so anyway I've already pre-decorated for today so I will, I'll be doing this uh, tonight um, and yeah I've, I've really been enjoying it so yeah, but thank you guys so much for checking out this video. And uh, if you have any comments, please feel free to leave them down below. If you are new, please consider subscribing, click on the bell button, give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, friends.